Thanks. So it's, it's a real honor for me to introduce to you Eric Wang. Um, I started my lab here at Cold Spring Harbor seven years ago, and Eric was the first person that I hired to join the lab. And in the first few years, our lab was just really, he and I, uh, working a way to uh, start a lab to study leukemia biology. Since then, our lab has grown, and um, Eric has really played an instrumental role in basically all of the projects that have kind of come out of our lab over the years. Um, I really could not imagine having a lab today if it were not for Eric showing up as my employee number one. Um, and so Eric has prepared a, a very nice presentation for you um, that will describe some of the science that he's been part of, which is very exciting, and also um, some inspiring kind of personal uh, component to his experience at Cold Spring Harbor. And so I'll turn it over to him. Right, uh, thanks, Chris, for the introduction. And you know, thank, you, thank you, everyone, for coming today. And so today I want to you know, kind of tell you about my experience working here at Coastman Harbor Labs and how it has really had a, a huge impact in my, my life and also my career. And so, uh, so, you know, I was born and raised uh, here on Long Island, and you know, I grew up in Dix Hills. And however, my family were originally from Taiwan and came over to Long Island where soon afterwards they, you know, they opened up their own family business, and it's called Bagel USA. And you know, it's here located in Huntington, and it's just 10 minutes away from the lab. And so this bagel business that we've had in our family has almost, it's almost been 30 years since, since we have the business, and it's been a, a major source of our income for my family before even I was born. And, and so it has also had a, a huge, uh, you know, a big role in my, my life too, where you know, throughout high school and you know, college, I would you know, wake up during the early mornings and come with my parents to help make and bake the bagels. And, you know, and so you know, after you know, receiving my degree from Farmingdale State College, you know, at this point, I, you know, I, I didn't know what to do at that point. And you know, at that point, I really, the only ex work experience I had was you know, making bagels. <laughs> and, and so, however, when I was looking for a job during that time, uh, this is when I came upon uh, an ad here at Coastman Harbor Lab, where Chris, who had just came down from Philadelphia and was starting his new lab here at Coastman Harbor to study leukemia. And so this is when I had a, the great opportunity to not just join Chris's lab, but become the first lab member of, of Chris's lab. And so I also like to point out that, you know, I didn't have any prior research experience coming here uh, before joining Chris's lab. However, I mean, since coming to Chris, uh, since coming to the lab, uh, you know, Chris has been really a great mentor and has really, you know, taught me so much about molecular biology and genetics and using mouse models to, you know, study cancer. And so, you know, I've also developed many friends here at Coastman Harbor over my period of time. And as, as you can see on the bottom left, we also, we, we also have quite a bit of fun uh, over these years, too. And so today, I want to specifically talk about uh, a research project that uh, we, we had discovered uh, when, back when Chris and I started the lab. And so this is a, a new drug target that we identify in a, a very lethal form of blood cancer called acute myeloid leukemia. And so this is a finding that we published back in 2011 in Nature, one of the, the top scientific journals. And just a you know, summary of our findings, um, basically these are findings that we found in the lab. And actually, the, the bottom left is an image that I personally carried out this experiment. And what we did was that we treated this drug. It's called a BRD4 inhibitor in mice that had acute myeloid leukemia. And by treating these mice with uh, this BRD4 inhibitor, this results in a, a dramatic reduction in disease progression and resulted in a longer survival of these mice. And you know, since then, there's been several uh, drug companies that have uh, initiated clinical phase one trials of this BRD4 inhibitor. And this was particularly very exciting for you know, our lab and of me too, uh, for me too, where experiments where I carried out using these mouse models can be translated into uh, these human patients. And so in the next slide, I want to show you uh, one of these early results from these clinical phase one trials using uh, this BRD4 inhibitor drug. And so this is a 74-year-old woman who had been diagnosed with uh, acute myeloid leukemia, has you know, previously gone through chemotherapy treatment, but uh, didn't work. 
However, um, I also like to point out that before going, undergoing this uh, BRD4 inhibitor trial, you know, this patient had almost 100% leukemia cells in her bone marrow. However, after being treated with this BRD4 inhibitor, you can see that in the black line that the amount of percentage of these leukemia cells are completely uh, eliminated in this patient in her bone marrow. And you know, it's very interesting too, as you see actually in the blue line, that her normal blood cells uh, starts to replace her leukemia cells. And so this has been really an interesting uh, finding for the lab, a result for the lab, and not just for the lab, but also from my personal standpoint of view, where I was able to, you know, we, I was able to see how you know, basic research that you know, we could carry out here at the lab bench can be translated using, uh, to target these daily diseases um, that these patients have. And so this is, um, and so besides working on that project, you know, there's also been several other projects that I've been part of ever since I joined Chris's lab. And you know, these are just some of the examples where uh, our findings have been published in you know, journals uh, in our field. And you know, this has really given me a lot of exp um, a research experience during my time. And so you know, finally, I just want to conclude that you know, my, my time at Cosmic Harbor has you know, had really a, a huge impact in my, my career and my interest and passion for uh, the biological sciences. And so you know, this summer, actually, I'll be attending a, a PhD training program in hopes that one day I could lead my own research cancer lab. And I guess my last point of uh, advice is, you know, it's never too late to really learn about biology. Um, so I really advise everyone to you know, check out the stance here and really to see, you know, does biology you know, might interest you? And thank you very much. <laughs>